Hello, my name is Olawa Jackson, and this presentation is on green infrastructure. In this presentation, I will discuss stormwater runoff, explain what green infrastructure is, describe green roofs, bioswales, rain gardens, permeable paving, rain barrels, green spaces and wetland restoration, and in conclusion, discuss how green infrastructure is part of global sustainability. Stormwater runoff is a serious environmental threat. Stormwater runoff carries chemicals and debris, as well as eroded sediment into our waterways, where it can damage the health of ecosystems. When stormwater flows from roofs and streets directly into storm drains, untreated pollution enters our waterways, and this can include gasoline, motor oil, hydraulic fluid, pesticide, fertilizer, pet waste, sediments, and trash, all of which represent a threat to the health of aquatic life forms. Rather than building expensive water treatment plants, which can cost millions or even billions of dollars, green infrastructure is a cost-effective way to handle stormwater overflows. Green infrastructure includes technology such as rain gardens, green roofs, and bioswales. These structures absorb stormwater runoff into the ground. These replicate natural systems and often involve living plants, usually native species. These systems use soil for water purification, and they compensate for urban paving, which allows stormwater to rapidly run straight into streams, carrying pollutants with it. Instead, green infrastructure allows stormwater to sink into the ground where it's naturally filtered. Using rain barrels reduces potable water demand, and using native vegetation supports pollinator insects that are key to the health of the food web. This technology helps keep streams clean, reduces erosion from stormwater runoff flowing over the ground surface, decreases peak stormwater discharge, mitigates flooding, helps maintain groundwater levels by allowing stormwater to penetrate into the ground rather than directly into waterways, makes communities more resilient, and improves the air in cool cities because islands of natural green balance out the tendency of paving to absorb heat and radiate it at night, which usually keeps cities in a heat island effect. All of these advantages of green infrastructure help protect aquatic life. This infographic, provided by the Environmental Protection Agency, illustrates how green infrastructure can be integrated into an ordinary urban environment. Here you can see that green roofs are on the tops of buildings, and lawns feature rain gardens, that bioswales and planters are used along roadways, tree canopy overhangs the street, and pervious concrete is used so that water can sink through the concrete, not flow over it. Green roofs use a layer of natural vegetation planted on the rooftop to absorb and slow the flow of stormwater. A substrate is placed on the roof surface, above which is waterproofing and a root barrier, then insulation, a drainage and retention layer, filter fabric, and then the growing medium and the plants. This reduces the runoff to the storm drain. It also saves energy by keeping the building cool naturally. It's a low maintenance solution, but it is heavier than a normal roof, and this means that it's better for a building to be designed with the green roof in mind from the beginning, since it's often not practical to try to add one to a building that isn't designed for the extra weight.
Bioswales are a green infrastructure solution that are especially effective when planted along roadways. They are a linear drainage course, which is a fancy way of saying that it's somewhat shaped like a ditch. It has gently sloped sides, so it creates a bowl shape, which lets the water flow down instead of across, which lets it reside for a longer period of time rather than rapidly flowing to streams or to gutters. It's vegetated, or in drier climates it might be xeriscaped. The vegetation helps the water penetrate into the soil and also evapotranspirates moisture. The bioswale will remove pollution and debris by allowing polluted water to sink into the soil where it's filtered. And since the water sinks into the soil, this also helps recharge the groundwater level. Rain gardens are my favorite example of green infrastructure. This photo is of a rain garden that I built on my campus this year. The wonderful thing about rain gardens is that they're effective at harvesting stormwater from a drain coming off a building and letting it sink into the ground rather than form a pool or flow into a stream or into a gutter. But they're also very beautiful. The secret to a good rain garden is choosing water-tolerant native plants. And it's especially useful if you choose flowering plants because this makes them great habitat for pollinators, which helps support the entire ecosystem. This rain garden was in fact very popular with bees, insects, and even rabbits. Rain gardens use biofiltration soil, which is basically sand and compost. You have to excavate about two feet of the native soil and replace it with this bioretention mix, and then plant with your native species and surround with rocks, and make sure there's a nice hollow where the gutter outflow can flow across rocks and be directed into your rain garden. These require minimum watering and fertilizer, although I did make sure that I had an irrigation set up because we have very dry summers where I live. Um, these prevent flooding, which protects streams, they filter out pollution, and as I mentioned, they feed and shelter pollinators and other animals. Permeable paving is a form of green infrastructure that doesn't rely on growing things for its functionality. Instead, pavers are used that are water permeable, which means that instead of stormwater, flowing across streets and roadways, water flows into streets and roadways. There is permeable concrete and permeable asphalt available as options. Unfortunately, this solution is not yet ready for use on highways because it needs to uh, have low traffic and no heavy trucks, or it tends to get crushed and the, the pores that soak in the water tend to be diminished to the point that it no longer handles the rainwaters effectively. Rain barrows are a green infrastructure solution that allows water to be harvested directly from the gutter and then used to water the lawn or irrigate crops. Urban green spaces and restored wetlands are an excellent way of handling water. They make a great habitat for aquatic species as well as mammals. Their shade keeps buildings, cities, and streams cool. Cooling streams is very important for many kinds of fish, particularly salmon, since cool streams hold more oxygen, and this makes the stream more beneficial for its life forms. The plants then release water through evapotranspiration. Green infrastructure can be a key part of global sustainability. Our freshwater resources are precious and increasingly scarce. Stormwater can be the top pollution source in many urban areas. Green infrastructure protects aquatic species, including insects, amphibians, shellfish, and juvenile fish, which can be very sensitive to pollution and are crucial to the food web and also relied upon by the seafood industry. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation and thank you for listening.